tonight on Axel's Kitchen, we are having burgers at Bootleggers in downtown Lynchburg, and I think I messed it up again. No, you were absolutely perfect. perfect. <laughs> you were perfect that time. Do I need it again? Yes, because you said you messed hey, up. Hey, this is Courtney at Axel's Kitchen, and tonight we're having burgers at Bootleggers in downtown Lynchburg, Virginia. took me out for my birthday his baby 22. mama this I'm, I'm 22 today there's Courtney back there and there's the big dummy with his head down why do you always have your head down big dummy I'm scared of the camera don't be afraid of the camera the camera can't hurt you all right you know what we did today when we got here we checked his Earl and he was half a quart low on his Earl my tires are low and how low were your tires uh, almost half almost half Half the air that's supposed to be in the yes. I said I didn't look low, but I didn't have the tires. He said, he said, he goes, they look a little low. And not only did they look low, but they sound low. He, he was complaining that the car sounded very windy when he drove it. That was his, uh, right, Windy? That's a good Windy? Tell so on the way home yesterday, like, I was, like, kind of using two hands to steer. Like, I was getting scared. This, that's when you have uh, 25 pounds of air in a tire that's supposed to have 40 pounds in I didn't know they were the, like that low. So tire gauge. we gave him a tire gauge now, and I'll get air tomorrow. And he is going to go get some air tomorrow. Then I'll hit 80 on 460 and see how it feels. I'll get it and fill him up. Where are we going to go to fill him up? On the corner. Wait, I know, but we just hanging out. You guys were just hanging out at the house. He's sleeping. We, and no, no. Out. It wasn't, first it's we not did, a big emergency. First we did the knobs. Okay. And then when it did air. Which were what? What are the knobs look like? Did you talk about show putting the knobs? You didn't see the knobs? We put knobs on her cabinets. The, no the knobs. What, what are the knobs look like? <laughs> We've had enough. <laughs> Southern Bell Burger. It was very good. It had a jalapeno poppers on it. What kind of cheese was it? Uh, pimento. Pimento cheese and um, and that was it. And onions and onions. And it was lettuce. very good. Lettuce. I had lettuce. Shredded lettuce, which I'm a fan of. Most people aren't. Um, it was good. It was um, right how I wanted it. She said it would sit on the menu. This is pink or no pink. But she asked me medium well or just medium. So I was confused as to what to answer. So I answered her question, I said medium. And then I got it, it was kind of messy, but it was good. And the sides were delicious, all of them. The spicy sauce that came with the onion rings I loved. And I even got a side of my own tater tots, and they were very good. And was it a horseradish? Horseradish? Horseradish. Horseradish sauce, that was very good too. And also, the music was very good. I had the bootleggers numero uno for dinner. It had bacon, uh, glaze on it, cheese, and then onion ring. Uh, lettuce, shredded lettuce. I got it with no tomato um, and a sauce. It was good, it was very big, and it was a little messy. Um, I did ask for no pink, um, but there was pink. It was borderline mooey, but it was good. Um, I had three sides, french fries, onion rings, and tater tots, and my favorite was the tater tots. Um, I did enjoy those. I did also have an onion ring or a fried Oreo for dessert and it was good. It was a little dry, so not as moist as I would, I would like it, but it was a good dessert. So I had to build your own burger. I had caramelized onions, ketchup, uh, mushrooms, and cheddar cheese. 
I got it cooked medium rare and I have to say it was perfect. I, it was very pink in the middle, that's the way I like it. And we had the fries with tater tots and the onion rings. Oh, okay, but when you're eating a big burger, everything looks delicious, but then you can't eat it because it's so confused. The burger really filled me up, only half actually. The onion rings, and eh, I wouldn't order them again. There was a little too much breading. They used panko, so it was a little different of a flavor. But tater tots were just average, you know, out of the bag, probably a right or frozen. And the french fries look good, nice and crispy. So I think I'm comparing this to Black Label Burger. That's by me in, in New York. Um, I have to say I would stick with Black Label. I mean, if I'm in Virginia, fine, you're gonna come here. And I would tell people to come because it's a good burger. But I still like Black Label better. That's in Westbury, New York. Nice. Hi. <laughs> They don't take 20 minutes, jackass. There's a reason why we call them the big dummy. Okay, we're at Bootlegger Burger. Everybody had their burgers, everybody gave their review. My turn for a review. Our burger leader is Black Label Burger of Westbury, New York. And they're a burger leader, I truly am starting to believe, because of the dry aged beef that they use in their burgers. No dry aged beef here, but I thought it was a really good burger. I got the bootlegger, what was it called? The bootlegger duo? Numero uno. Bootlegger numero uno, not duo. Anyway, my burger had some crispy onions on it, cheese. Um, the, the ordering instructions aren't well done, medium, medium rare and rare. It is pink when open. That's exactly what it says on the menu. So we got a little confused by the way to order it, whether it was pink, no pink, whether it was medium or medium rare. I ordered no pink. My burger was cooked perfectly, but some of the other medium rares and mediums weren't cooked to everyone's liking. I happened to get a good one. I thought the flavor of the burger was really good. I would have to say that Bootlegger Burger here in Lynchburg, Virginia is definitely going to be a number two, a runner-up to Black Label. It was a good burger. Tater tots I thought were nice. Onion rings a little too much breading. Fries decent. Music good, right Robbie? The Big Dummy really enjoyed the 80s. Um, classic rock music. Yeah, 80s classic hair band kind of music um, that they're playing on Spotify. Um, real neat place, they had a lot of outdoor seat seating and big roll up doors. For when the seasons Garage changed. Doors. Garage doors, yeah. They got a big bar. Um, I think the waitress was afraid of us, right? She was a little, uh, a little afraid of us, a little hesitant to interact with the wacky New Yorkers. Um, but, oh, and then dessert. Dessert, Robbie got uh, fried Oreos. He wasn't with that cream. crazy. And with ice cream. He, I think he really wanted the ice cream. I got a bourbon caramel or caramel or caramel. Caramel? Caramel. caramel. I have trouble. Caramel? Caramel. Anyway, it was a bourbon caramel milkshake. Caramel's a place? Caramel? Caramel. Or caramel? Okay. Anyway, I thought it was all right. Um, nothing crazy. I did enjoy the burger, though. That's our review from, where are we? Bootleggers. Bootleggers downtown. I'm being told downtown Lynchburg, Virginia. That's sort of like in the central part of the state. Hope you enjoyed the episode of Axel's Kitchen. If you did, don't forget, it's right down there. There's the thumbs up button. Click on it for me. And if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.